Hi guys, welcome back to Hillside Homesteading. I'm Salisha. Thank you for joining me for this video. So today I thought I would talk to you guys briefly about chickens eating snow in the winter. Now, I had this question come up quite a few times on my Facebook page. You can follow us at Backyard Chickens Ontario on Facebook. There you can ask so many different questions and I think we have almost 15,000 people in that group. So if you have any questions about keeping chickens, you can head over there and check it out. So let's get into the specifics for this video, which is will chickens eat snow in place of water now we live here in ontario which gets really cold so i do empathize with everyone who owns chickens um being able to get them enough water especially when the temperature drops below freezing i have a few ideas on things i would recommend you do in order to keep not just your keep your chickens hydrated but also to keep them as healthy as possible throughout the long cold winter months so will my chickens eat snow in place of water so to answer this briefly yes your chickens will definitely eat snow if you've ever let your chickens out when it snowed you'll see that they will peck at the snow i did see a couple other vloggers um with chickens that they were keeping in like a, a greenhouse. And for some reason, they thought it would be okay to only feed the chickens the snow. I'm gonna go over a few reasons why that's not healthy and why you should not do that. Think about it for a second. If you take snow and you put it in a cup and you don't pack it down, you just scoop a bunch of snow, put it in a cup and you bring it inside. That snow is going to melt and you'll notice that one full cup of snow will only give you a fraction of that in water. So think about it when your chickens are eating the snow, they're actually filling up on a lot of air so chickens can get a little bit bloated. Also what happens is that the chickens will have to eat a lot more snow in order to get hydrated than they would have to drink water. So I know a lot of people think it's okay to do this, especially if you're not gonna be around for um, one or two days. I wouldn't recommend leaving your chickens unattended for any more than two days. Let's say you're going away and you don't have any other way to give your chickens water. Um, if they wanna go out and peck at the snow and eat a little bit here and there, but you can't solely give them snow as their water. Number one, the snow just isn't adequate when it comes to the amount of water it actually breaks down to, but also it causes them to get a bit more gassy but the main reason you don't wanna feed your chickens only snow is because the snow will end up cooling the chickens' bodies down from the inside out. So your hens have everything they need to survive the winter, their feathers, their down, they're just built, especially your hardy birds, they're just built to survive our long cold winters. But you definitely wanna make sure you're giving them fresh water every day. If you don't give the chickens fresh water every day, you're going to end up with very cold chickens and you're gonna end up with really thirsty, dehydrated chickens because they're just not gonna be able to eat enough snow to properly hydrate themselves. And if you cool your chickens down way too much, well, that's just a recipe for disaster. So definitely give your chickens some fresh water at least once a day. The best thing to do is to fill up their watering bowl with really warm water early in the morning or whenever you let them out for the day. Fill it up with really, really warm water. That water is going to cool down rather quickly, but it won't freeze right away. So it'll give them enough time for them to get nice and hydrated and drink enough water. Now in the winter time, they don't need as much water in the winter as they would in the summertime when it's really hot. So in in the summertime you definitely will need to give them water have it on hand all the time but in the winter filling up their watering bowl once maybe twice a day with nice warm water is perfect for them if you're going to be away for a day or two i would recommend purchasing a heat mat you can hook that up to an electric cord that's safer outside and you can keep that under their bowl um, somewhere you know tucked into like the straw or into the bedding and then you can put that underneath and put their watering bowl right on top of it you can also use something like um, an aquarium pool heater or you can also use a bird bath heater. So any of those would work really well and it'll just keep the water from freezing completely so that the chickens will have access to fresh water. Another thing to do to help your chickens um, stay hydrated is to try and keep their water elevated off the ground and inside of their chicken coop. If it's freezing and you wanna leave them for a day or two, then putting the water inside of the coop will help the water not freeze 
as quickly, but keeping it elevated will also help them not splashing the water all over the floor. Make sure you winterize your chicken coop and you can do so by simply checking the coop for cracks and repair any holes or drafts, um, but don't block off any of the vent holes because you do want ventilation, it's extremely important keep a lookout for my next ventilation video coming up soon. Um, add extra bedding and shavings. This will be a natural insulation um, and it'll also keep everything nice and clean. Offer them a nutritious diet. So make sure you're not just feeding them chicken scraps, especially if you're raising laying hens, you wanna make sure you're feeding them a good layer pellet. Clear out any snow that's around. Sometimes the snow actually will act as an insulation, especially if it's on the roof. But if you find that it is making it a lot colder in the coop, then you can clear that out. Um, and also make sure you lock up your chickens at night and you don't keep them outside in the cold. All right guys, well that's it for this video. Make sure you like the video, it really helps me out. And share it to your other chicken loving friends on social media so that they can also get this information. Thank you for joining me guys for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Stay peaceful.